Radio Suffolk. It's a bit of a lie, because Sal's here for lots of reasons. This particular, this particular part of the show is for the Golden Court. Well, our Golden Court is live today. Oh. It's a light, yeah, live one today um, because we were talking, well, we've talked about farmers markets, we've talked about um, whether people should, certain people should go on strike and we've talked about the other story that's knocking about today about who you would like to talk to. Yeah, this is incredible. Survey out says they're suggesting that one in five of us want to have a chat with Diana. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would, you know, actually. Would you? Yeah, I You'd think be I in would. that one in five? Yeah, I think I probably would. Michael yeah. Jackson for me. Yeah. Possibly Charles Darwin. Yes. Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah. And Winston Churchill. I love him. Oh, somebody phoned us earlier. Um, I think it's Peter Newmarket. He said Winston Churchill. He'd love to talk to him. Yeah, he said if he could see what was going on in the country today, <laughs> he's the only person that could sort it out. <laughs> yeah, well, there's another debate well, yeah. altogether. Uh, okay, so uh, what are we doing? So, uh, today's Golden Call is courtesy of Paul from Harwich. Hi, Paul. Oh, hello, uh, Welcome James. How are you? To the program. I'm very well, actually. I'm very you do. well. Oh, I'm fine, Paul. Thank you very much. Yes. That's nice that you've asked, because not often people do ask you that you are. <laughs> no, that's very kind. And if, we were nice both, to to if we were both being honest, we've both got something coming on, haven't we? We have. Got a bit yeah. of a throat. We've got throat on, <laughs> Paul. Oh, dear. Some bug going around. Now, who would you like to meet, if it were at all possible, when you pass away, Paul? Uh, Christopher Jones, the master of the Mayflower. Mm. Very specific. Yes. Why so? Because uh, we in Harwich are uh, building the replica of the new ship. Ah. And there's a lot of uh, things in the background that nobody seems to know. Really. <laughs> right, so you want a little bit of technical <laughs> advice. Well, I need a bit of help now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just lovely, isn't it? Up at the pearly gates. Why are you here? Well, can I just have a quick word? We're just a bit stuck on this bit. Right. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Uh, what sort of questions would you be asking him, Paul? Well, now, <clears throat> one of the things is that uh, where are the timbers of the Mayfair? Now, it's been suggested that they're in a barn in Buckinghamshire, and it's quite a strong possibility that that is the case. But um, he died, actually, before the, this barn was built. Right. But, but only a year after he, he died. So, I mean, from where he is, he should know by now, you know. <laughs> Should be able to spot him from that height. Well, yes. <laughs> where are the timbers of the Mayflower? Yeah. Why do you need to know where they are? Then? Uh, well, it's part of the research. I'm right. one of the research side of the project that are doing all this, and there's all this information, you know, that that we need uh, to create a, a good thing about it all. You know. Yeah. Tell us more about this project, then. Yeah, we're. Um, uh, it's the Mayflower, uh, the Harwich Mayflower project, and. Um, uh, it's been going for about nearly two years now, but uh, we seem to be off the ground. We're a, ha a charity, a registered charity uh, in England, and we are seeking charity status in the USA. Right. Uh, of course, that's where the big funds are going to come from. Sure. Uh, but uh, it, it's really starting. This year, it's, it's really going to happen. We've, we've, we've got a site to build the, the ship now in Harwich. Is there a possibility you could recreate that famous boy? One yes, of the so famous that, that, that is the idea of it. In, right. in, in the 400th anniversary in 2020, hopefully the ship's going to sail to um, Cape Cod in America and all over again. And this time the captain might say, ah, let's find somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back, of course. Uh, our buddies over in America, but I suspect they'll they'll be as excited about it as we as we are. Well, we're hoping so. Um, but of course, they've already got a ship in Plymouth, but um, it's strange to note that the ship that's in Plymouth now is actually older than the original Mayflower ever was. So, any prospect of a completion date, Paul? Uh, we're hoping within about three years, but it all depends on the funds really coming through. Well, of course. Can I ask you a little favour, Paul? Mm hmm. Are you going to be doing any testing? I mean, will you will you just launch it and off it will go, or will you have it in the sort of harbour area for a time? What's going to happen? Well, I'm not on that side of things, uh, you know, on the actual technical side, but right. uh, I'm sure everything's going to be, you know, tickety-boo. We don't want it to be sort of launch it and it sinks straight away. <laughs> That's going to be another... A little bit embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not All right. very right. Could we come and visit? I'm sure we'd love to have you down there, but there's not a lot to see at the moment. But I'm sure if we can keep in touch with you, then that, that'll be fine. Sal's not particularly what you'd call seafaring. Sorry? Sal's not particularly seafaring. Oh, right, <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, well, we should... I'll come and wave. I'll come and wave yeah. from the dockside. I'll wave. 
Well, certainly one of us from the station would love to come down there. Well, that'd be brilliant, because the whole, actually, the whole thing of it is that um, it's that part we are hopefully to regenerate the whole of the Harwich area. Uh, the Harwich Peninsula for six centuries has been famous for building ships all along the, the, the peninsula, and, and there isn't even a shipyard left. No, nowadays. that's true, that's true. Well, best of luck with it, Paul. Thank you very much. So, you the golden call today, then, Paul, who wants to speak to you? Remind us who you want to speak to again, Paul? Uh, Christopher Jones, who, Christopher was, Jones. Uh, who was actually born and bred in Harwich and was the master of the Mayflower. The master of the Mayflower. Well, wow, that brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Paul. Good talking to you. Bye, Paul. And you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sally's Golden Call on BBC Radio Suffolk.